magdidiscuss ako ng konting overview of the complement pathways. Okay? We actually have three, pero ang ipapakita ko lang for today is the classical and also the alternative pathway. Yung isa, yung lectin pathway, um, uh, same lang naman din siya ng classical pathway. So, if you understand the um, classical pathway, may, may babaguhin ka lang sa um, activating niya, activating factors niya. Okay? So, um, I don't know if you're, gonna, you're if you're hearing me well kasi my, my internet connection is still weak pero comment na lang kung may problem, okay? And kung hindi mo man naumpisahan yung, yung video, you can always rewatch kasi na-upload naman to sa Facebook. So, ulitin na lang natin, okay? So, again, complement pathways. Ang pag-aaralan natin for today is both the classical and the alternative, Okay? Ang unahin natin uh, ipaliwanag ay yung classical pathway. Your classical pathway will be activated by the presence of your IgG and or your IgM. So, meaning to say, antibodies. Okay? Your antibodies, when they are present in your uh, body and they are bound to antigen, so you have antigen-antibody complexes, pwede nila ma-activate yung C1. Okay? Your C1. C1 is... Uh, a complex. It has three subunits. You have Q, R, and S bound by calcium. So, pag ang C1 ay na-activate, ulitin natin ang mag-a-activate ay yung, yung IgG and your IgM. Uh, pag na-activate yung C1, ito target niya ang C4. Okay? C4 will be then cleaved or um, be divided into C4A and C4B. Okay? And then again, after ng, after ma- uh, target ni C1 si C4, next nyo ito target ang C2. Okay? So, C1 targets C4 first. After doing so, it will target C2. C2 will be cleaved into C2A and C2B. Okay? So that, you will have fragments C4A, C4B, C2A, and C2B. And ang magsasama doon sa mga fragments na yun ay ang C4B and C2A to produce the so-called C3 convertase of the classical pathway. Okay, sa, sa exams kasi natin na uh, tatanong kung ano yung C3 convertase of classical, C3 convertase of alternative. So, you need to understand where that came from. Okay, yung C4B, 2A, magkocombine sila in the presence of magnesium to produce C3 convertase of the classical pathway. Okay, when this is produced, syempre by the name itself, C3 convertase, Iba ASC is an enzyme, so it will target C3. When it targets C3, it will become C3A and C3B. Okay? C3A, mawawala na siya sa storya natin. We will focus on C3B. This C3B will be um, joining C4B to A. So, you will have C4B to A3B. And sila na ngayon ang tinatawag natin C5 convertase. Okay? C5 convertase of the classical pathway. Okay? So, C5, uh, C4B to A3B is the C5 convertase of the classical pathway. So, by the name itself, again, ang targeting niyang next ay ang fragment na C5. Okay? And then, C5 will be C5A and C5B. Si C5A, may iba siyang function. So, pwede siyang anaphylatoxin. So, siya ang most potent anaphylatoxin that we know. And, hindi na siya kasali sa cascade. Ang sasali sa atin ay yung C5B. Okay? C5B will join C6, 7, and 8 or pati kasama minsan C9 para mabuo ang ating membrane attack complex or yung MAC. Okay? So, pag tinanong ka, ano ang members of the MAC or membrane attack complex, that will be C5B, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay? Pag nabuo mo na yung MAC mo, pwede ka nang uh, pumatay ng cells via lysis. So, if this cell na pinag-attachan natin ay ang red blood cell, syempre ang end um, product of complement activation will be hemolysis, malalize yung red blood cells. So, if ever this is a bacteria, malalize ang ating bacterial cell wall so that you will be, uh, the bacteria will die. Okay? So, yan ang process of complement activation. So, in summary, ulitin natin, for the classical pathway, you will start or it will be activated in the presence of your antibodies, IgG or IgM. Some books, sinasabi nila minsan IgA din, pero for now, let us know na IgG and IgM. 
will activate your classical pathway. So, ang start ng classical pathway ay ang C1, which is a complex of C1Q, C1R, and C1S. And then, C1, when activated, will cleave C4 into C4A and C4B. After doing so, it will target C2 to become C2A and C2B to form C3 convertase. And C3 convertase is C4B to A. C3 convertase will cleave C3 into C3A and C3B. C3B will, will uh, join the original C3 convertase. So, you will be C, uh, C4B to A, 3B. Uh, to become C5 convertase, okay? And then you will target C5, make it C5A and C5B. C5B will join 6, 7, 8, and 9 to become the MAC or membrane attack complex ending with cell lysis, okay? So that is your classical pathway, okay? Sorry ah, kasi wala akong pang, ano, pang stabilize ng phone eh. Hawak-hawak lang to ng kamay ko. <laughs> so in summary, your your classical pathway starts with C1, your C3 convertase is C4B2A, C5 convertase is C4B2A, and 3B. Okay? Now let's talk about the alternative pathway, the second pathway of classic um, complement activation. Alternative pathway is activated if there are polysaccharides or lipopolysaccharides on bacteria, pwede rin fungi yeah, fungi daw yung basa doon so, ganun na rin natin siya basahin yeast, viruses, tumor, and parasites okay, so um, most especially if the infection is bacterial itong alternative pathway ang ma-activate ng ating immune system to fight the infection, okay but um, the difference sa uh, classical pathway is that um, start ng alternative pathway is C3. It bypasses your C1, C4, and C2. Nag-start ka na agad sa C3. So, pag meron ka daw bacterial products around, your C3 will be activated and C3 will be uh, divided into C3A and C3B. Okay? C3B with the help of factor D will be able to cleave factor B to become BA and BB. Okay? BB, yung fragment na BB, will join C3B to become the C3 convertase of the alternative pathway. Okay? So, yung C3B, BB, na umpisang nabuo, ay eh, medyo unstable. So, it has to be stabilized. And the stabilizing factor will be proper deal. So, proper DIN will stabilize your C3BBB and after doing so, C3 convertase will be cleaving C3 to become C3A and C3B. Okay? So, C3A and 3B, again, kasi a most abundant complement component natin will be C3. So, siya ang pinaka-importante sa lahat. Okay? So, C3B, again, will join your... C3BBB na original C3 convertase to become C5 convertase. So, pag tinanong ka ano ang laman ng C5 convertase mo sa alternative pathway, you have C3B BB 3B. Okay? So, puro letter B. C5 convertase. So, again, by the name itself, anong tatargetin niya? C5 will target C5. Okay? C5 convertase will target C5 and cleaving it to C5A and C5B and from this point on pareho na nangyayari sa classical and alternative pathway so gagawa ka ulit ng MAC and then after nun, sa lysis ka na ulit okay? so let us see kung ano yung mga unique sa alternative pathway sa alternative pathway, katulad na nabanggit natin kanina, ang start niya ay C3, so it bypasses C1, C4, and C2, so hindi kasama ang C1, C4, C2 sa alternative pathway instead, siya ay merong mga factors na letters ang name, so factor D factor B and factor P proper D. Okay? So, unique yan sa alternative pathway. So, ang pareho lang na complement component sa classical and alternative ay ang iyong C3 and C5. Okay? So, in summary, you have to remember, pag ang tanong, eh, alternative pathway, ang, ang mag activate sa kanya ay polysaccharides and lipopolysaccharides found on bacteria and other um, infectious agents and it will start with C3. The C3 convertase is composed of C3B BB while the C5 convertase is C3B BB 3B. 
Okay? Usually kasi pinagko-compare to. So, you have to remember. Minsan, itatanong sa'yo, what is the C3 convertase of the classical pathway? Or what is the C3 convertase of the alternative pathway? So, in summary, ito yon. Okay? Ulitin natin. You have two pathways to remember. And um, yung pangatlo, yung MBL, kamukha lang din naman yun ng classical. Papalitan mo lang yung activating factor ng manose found in bacteria. So, MBL pathway. Okay? So, sa kanina natin pag-usapan yun. Ang mahalaga, maintindihan mo muna yung classical and alternative and the difference between the two. So, your classical pathway starts with C1. Your alternative pathway starts with C3. Your C3 convertase of the um, classical pathway is C4B2A. C5 convertase is C4B2A3B. In the alternative pathway, you have C3 convertase C3BBB and C5 convertase c 3 b BB, 3B. Okay? So, I guess that's it. Kung meron po kayong tanong, you can just comment in your comment in your Facebook and I'll try to answer. Pero for now, yun na lang muna and I hope you do understand yung ating classical and alternative pathway. I will be posting a picture of this image. This is also found in um, my immunology and serology checkpoint notes. So, kung na-enjoy nyo yun, bilin na po. <laughs> Okay, so God bless everyone and keep safe.